I'm going to show you how to use Dreamweaver to set your styles. We're going to put these styles internally. You can always move them to an external style sheet later. First thing we're going to do is just set up some styles for the structure of the site. We've already got our HTML code in here and our main divs. To add a new style, we're going to click the new CSS rule. Go up here and choose tag. Down here you want to choose HTML. We're going to do this document only. When you hit OK, we want to change the height and the width to 100. And we're going to change that to percent and 100 percent. And you can obviously change those numbers later as you play around with the site to figure out what you like best. We're now going to add styles for the body. New CSS rule, tag, body. We just want to zero out the margins in case any browsers had any default margins. Put a zero there. Hit OK. We're now going to add a style for the container. If you don't want to have to type the name of the selector, what you can do is just click on the name in the code. And when you click New CSS Rule, it automatically has it selected. We're going to go to Box. We're going to uncheck Same for All. And we're going to change our left and right margins to auto. I'm going to set my padding for this container to zero. I don't need any space on the inside. For this particular layout, the width is going to be 960 pixels and the height is going to be auto. Again, you can play around with these numbers to get your design structurally set up in the way that you prefer. For this div, we can set our background to white. And then we can work on our text alignment, uh, left align under block, text align left. We can even set our font family here to Century Gothic. If we've got that one loaded. If not, just choose one you prefer. And our font size we can set to 1.2. And instead of pixels, I'm going to go with M's. And the color, set to 313030. If you all are using your own color scheme generator, this is where you would add that code here. I've now set up this container to be centered and fixed width. Now I'm going to do some styles for the links. Click the new CSS button, compound. And then we're going to choose a link. Use one of your color codes from your color scheme generator. And I'm going to change the font weight to bold. And now see the link style pop up. At this point, you can add styles for your visited and your hover. So I'm going to go in here and select my hover. Choose a color from your color scheme generator. And font weight is bold. So I'm going to get the hover, and you can do the same thing for visited. We're now going to go ahead and style our header. Sometimes I like to block out my divs with different colors and I can remove them later, but it just gives me a visual of where each division or section is located. I'm going to click on the header, click the new style. This is a compound header, but if you don't need both selectors in here, you can delete that extra one. I'm going to go ahead and go to block for box and put zero for our padding. Our height's going to be 272, and this is determined in Photoshop using the ruler or the marquee tool. And our left and right margins over here are going to be set to auto. And you can set your background color. You can use your color scheme generator to figure this out. And you can now see where the header is going to be located with that turquoise color. Now I'm going to style the div called main, so I'm going to click on it. New CSS rule. I'm going to go ahead and delete container, but you don't have to. Go to box, padding, I'm going to set to zero. I'm going to do auto for my left and right, auto for my bottom, and I'm going to do 20 pixels of padding for my top. For right now I'm going to do my height at auto. We'll have to go back in later and add a minimum width manually. I want to position this relative to the parent. So that's the container that this particular div is inside of. 
go ahead and add our background color here. You can get that from your color scheme generator, and now you can see our main div. All right, so make sure you've got your height auto in here if it didn't take. And we want to make sure that we do a minimum height of at least 305 pixels. So we know that at, at least it's going to be 305 pixels tall. And you can see how that main div expanded there. We're now going to go style our footer. So I'm going to click in the footer, new CSS rule. And my font family, I'm going to keep with Arial. Height 100 pixels. And we're going to position this relative to the parent container. I'm going to do 13 pixels font. You choose what you think looks best. Padding, I'm going to do 20 pixels on the top to give some space on the inside of that element. And for right now, I'm going to add a temporary background color just so I can see where the footer is while I'm working. And now we can see that down there. 